Maturity Awareness Day is November the 17th, and uh, it's a day that's been set aside by the March of Dimes nationally to recognize prematurity, to try and decrease the rate of prematurity, inform the public about what they can do, and certainly to make patients aware themselves of contractions and what they can do to decrease the chances of having a baby early. It was just too early. I, I had no idea that, I just thought I would go in and get checked out and go back home. That's not even possible. It was yeah, 23 joking. weeks. We were, we were kind of joking about it because we, we didn't even think it was a possibility at that time. We need to make people aware. We need to make um, sisters aware, brothers aware, moms and dads aware, grandmothers aware that prematurity occurs and when it occurs it can uh, lead to uh, devastating results for the newborn. Their first couple weeks were very, very rough. Colin was very sick. He was critically sick the first week and he had a really bad infection in his blood and his lungs. Tate had an infection the same week, and that was about the scariest week, really. <laughs> there are some risk factors that we can identify in a woman when she comes in and say, you are going to be at risk for a preterm labor, preterm birth, and these are some things that you need to do about it. The obesity epidemic has increased the risk also of, of preterm birth. We know that doing drugs increases the risk, cocaine. We know that smoking increases the risk. And here in Florida, that's one area that we have not been able to really curb, and that is our pregnant patients who smoke. Also, we see an increased incidence of prematurity on those moms who are carrying multiple births, like twins, triplets, and in some occasion, quads. This also is increased on those moms who go through in vitro fertilization because they have a higher risk of multi-pregnancy. Now each week is important, so from 25 weeks to 26 weeks to 28 weeks to 30 weeks, each day that a patient can gain pregnant can save two days in the NICU. Every day we could make it longer was a better chance for survival because they were so early when they went into labor, when I went into labor. Mm -hmm. So we give patients a gauge on what they should expect more than four contractions for two consecutive hours, we tell patients to call their doctor or invite themselves in to labor and delivery. Definitely, if you're having any warning signs, make sure and ask doctors about warning signs for preterm labor. Go in and get it checked out immediately. It may or may not have made any difference in ours, but we're lucky we got to the hospital when we did or everything could have been much worse. I tell patients that what they do today when they're pregnant can affect what their child is going to be like when it's eight or nine years old.